Justin Trudeau is looking to sidestep controversy and embarrassment on his trip to India this morning. He's doing so after a man convicted of attempted murder and alleged to be a terrorist was invited to an exclusive dinner and photographed with his wife, Sophie. David Cochran has the details from New Delhi. The Prime Minister tried to keep his official agenda on track with a visit to a cricket pitch, something much easier said than done. Prime Minister, how did Canada invite Mr. Atwal to this reception? How did he get on the guest list, Prime Minister? That's what happens when a man convicted of attempted murder and a former member of a Sikh extremist organization banned as a terrorist group is photographed posing with the Prime Minister's wife at a private event in Mumbai. Jaspal Atwal was convicted in 1986 of the attempted assassination of an Indian cabinet minister who was visiting Vancouver Island. He went to prison for that, but Tuesday night in Mumbai, he was posing with Canadian cabinet ministers and MPs. Big embarrassment for the visiting Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. This story is generating headlines across India that will make the Canadian government squirm. Indian media is calling Atwal a terrorist who somehow was invited to an exclusive reception with Trudeau and the Canadian High Commissioner, an invitation that was promptly rescinded after the CBC broke this news. Now CBC News has also learned that Atwal was added to that guest list by Randeep Sarai, a Liberal MP from Surrey. Atwal's past should have been well known as he was also charged but not convicted in the near fatal beating of former British Columbia Premier Ujjal Dosanjh, who tweeted his outrage saying, do we have no shame? Khalistan has seeped deep into the veins of this administration. All of this comes just one day before Trudeau is set to meet with Indian Prime Minister Harendra Modi on a trip where he has sought to reassure India that Canada does not support Sikh separatism. Now we will have to explain why a Canadian member of Parliament invited the would-be assassin of an Indian cabinet minister to a party with Justin Trudeau. David Cochran, CBC News, New Delhi. Questions about Jazz Paul Atwal are likely to follow the Prime Minister as he continues his trip. And speaking to reporters this morning, he says Atwal should not have been invited in the first place. Obviously, we take this situation extremely seriously. Uh, the individual in question never should have received an invitation, and uh, as soon as we found out, uh, we rescinded the invitation immediately. Uh, the Member of Parliament uh, who uh, included this individual uh, has and will assume full responsibility for his actions. And that is exactly what happens. The MP who first submitted Jazz Paul Atwell's name to the reception's guest list is apologizing this morning. MP Randeep Sarai has issued a statement saying, this person should never have been invited in the first place. I alone facilitated his request to attend this important event. I should have exercised better judgment. And I take full responsibility for my actions. India's Ministry of External Affairs is calling for calm on the issue, saying the media should move on from an issue it calls an oversight. They have already said uh, that this was an oversight. The fact that an invitation which was already extended to Mr. Atwal has been withdrawn, it basically shows that they have taken into account the concerns which we have. And um, I think we just need to move on from there now. I think uh, it was an oversight. They have accepted it was an oversight. And I think we need to move on. That was a spokesperson for India's Ministry of External Affairs speaking earlier.